Hi there, I have an idea for you. As soon as it gets warm outside, try leaving a spoonful of sugar in your backyard or on your balcony. This simple action may seem meaningless at first sight, but it has the potential to save people from starvation. For many people, bees are nothing but a summer bother that spoils a perfect picnic. What these people don't know is that bees feed a whopping 90% of the world's population. But an even more important and alarming thing to consider is that nowadays, these colorful insects are dying out at an alarming speed. Sir David Attenborough, a famous zoologist, is sure that if bees went extinct, people wouldn't survive longer than four years. Later on in this video, you'll find out why bees are that important for human beings. Why are bees dying out? In the US alone, the honeybee population has dropped by almost 25% since 1990. The most significant decrease happened in the last five years, when the number of bees reduced by a third. The reason for such a dramatic change is colony collapse disorder. That's a mysterious phenomenon when perfectly healthy bees leave their hives and never return. Researchers haven't figured out what makes bees abandon their homes. However, according to scientific estimates, more than one-third of all honeybee colonies in the US are now empty. What's more, the number of hives is currently at its lowest for 50 years. Some theories may explain colony collapse disorder. First of all, scientists have drawn a connection between the disappearance of honeybees and global warming. Due to this massive climate change, flowers start to bloom earlier. When bees wake up from hibernation, some flowers have already finished blooming. Unfortunately, these are the very flowers bees need for survival at the start of the season. Another opinion is that bees die out because farmers use too many pesticides. Although producers apply these chemical substances to get rid of pests, they also harm innocent honeybees. The authorities in some countries have banned such pesticides. But a number of dangerous chemicals are still available in some regions of the US. The reason for colony collapse disorder could also lie in the loss of the honeybee habitat. People abandon farms, grow crops in a way that doesn't leave any space for wildlife, or plant flowers that are harmful to pollinators. Finally, some researchers believe that bees may be abandoning their hives because of parasites – mites, moths, hive beetles, or even ants. The varroa mites that infest colonies transfer DWV – deform wing virus, which results in deformities of the wings and abdomen in adult honeybees. How can you help the buzzers to survive? Sometimes bees get too tired to return to their hives and don't even have the energy to move. Most people consider such bees dead and sweep the little critters away. However, a solution of water and sugar can help an exhausted bee to recover. To prepare this sweet drink, you'll need to mix 1 tablespoon of water and 2 tablespoons of granulated white sugar. Pour this concoction into several little plates or spoons and leave them somewhere outside where bees will be able to reach the food. White sugar, also known as sucrose, can help honeybees supplement the shortage of honey in their hives. This will then prevent the colony from starvation. Bees usually collect sucrose, which is one of the main components of nectar, from blooming flowers. Only after that do they process this substance and store it in the form of honey. Later, during the winter or when there is no available flowering plants, bees use this stash of honey. In addition, you can plant bee-friendly flowers on your balcony or in your garden to help your local bees thrive. Remember that bees' favorite colors are yellow, orange, and blue. Choose plants which have flowers of these colors. But why are bees so important? 
Bees are some of the main pollinators on Earth. Although there are a lot of other pollinating creatures, like bats, birds, butterflies, and beetles. However, honeybees are the most numerous and hard-working of them all. One-third of all the food on the planet depends on how well bees work. They pollinate more than 80% of flowering plants. In the US, these little critters pollinate up to 75% of vegetables, fruits, and nuts, and more than 80% of all crops. These insects are also crucial for the dairy and meat industry because they pollinate alfalfa and clover, which are some of the primary food sources for cattle. Bees are also great for the economy of a country, contributing as much as $15 billion a year to the U.S. economy. Besides, every year, bees make honey for a whopping $150 million. Some products, such as almonds, can be pollinated exclusively by honeybees. The California almond industry needs about 1.4 million bee colonies every year. That's 60% of all the honeybee hives in the U.S. At the same time, this region produces 80% of all the almonds in the world, bringing in more than $4.8 billion a year. So as you can see, bees are irreplaceable for our planet, and it's crucial to do everything you can to save them. But how well do you know these little critters? Here are several astounding bee facts. To make just one pound of honey, a bee has to get nectar from more than 2 million flowers. On top of that, this bee would have to fly approximately 90,000 miles to do this. For comparison, the length of the equator is just under 25,000 miles. In its whole lifetime, the average honeybee will only make one-twelfth of a teaspoon of honey. A bee can develop a speed of 15 miles per hour. While doing this, it also beats its wings more than 200 times per second. There are usually between 20,000 and 60,000 bees and just one queen in each colony. Surprisingly, all the worker bees are female. While the lifespan of a regular worker honeybee is about 6 weeks, the queen can live as long as 5 years. Honeybees are very traditional. The way they produce honey today is exactly the same as it was 50 million years ago. When a honeybee locates a promising source of nectar, it returns to the hive. There, it dances in front of its mates. By doing this, the bee explains the exact position of the flower. Bees have an amazing sense of smell. Each honeybee has 170 odorant receptors, and it uses them to look for the best flowers and communicate with its mates. The queen is extremely busy during the summer. Ha! You think? <laughs> That's when this most important bee lays more than 2,500 eggs per day. Which bee fact has surprised you the most? Tell us about your impressions in the comment section below. Remember to hit the like button, share this video with your friends, and subscribe to the channel to move to the bright side of life.